Okay, so welcome to Math Story, and let's solve this problem. So determine the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, and directrix of the parabola with a given equation. Then sketch the graph. So to solve for this problem, we have these steps. But first, take note that if the given equation is x squared, then the graph of the parabola opens upward or downward but if the equation is y squared then the graph opens to the left or to the right so for x squared upward if positive and downward if negative for y squared negative to the left and positive to the right so again to solve for this uh, problem we have the steps so first, variable with exponent 2 on the left side and the rest transpose to the right side. Now on the given equation, y is the variable with exponent 2. So therefore, this parabola opens to the left or to the right. So variable with exponent 2 on the left side, so therefore, all y's on the left side so we have y squared plus 8y then equals the rest transpose to the right side so this negative 20x becomes positive 20x and this positive 56 becomes negative 56 then do completing the square so to do completing the square for the equation on the left side so just take this coefficient that's 8 and then divide this one by 2 then take the squared so 8 divided by 2 this one is 4 then 4 squared this one is 16 then add this number to this equation so we have y squared plus 8y then plus 16 then equals 20x minus 56 so also you need to add 16 on the right side then factoring and simplify so to factor out this equation of y so we have factors of y squared this one is y times y since this one is positive so plus then factors of 16 this one is 4 times 4 so we have now y plus 4 then to the power 2 and on the right side, so simplify, so we have this 20x and this negative 56 plus 16, this negative 40. Then the last step is to a uh, coefficient of the variable on the right side must be factored out. So this coefficient of the variable on the right side must be factored out. So we have now y plus 4 then to the power 2 equal so you need to put this 20 outside then times so we have now x then on this term so we have negative divide by positive that's negative and 40 divide by 20 that's 2 so this is now the standard equation of this parabola then from the standard equation, since this one is positive 20, so therefore, this parabola opens to the right. And the standard equation, so this one is y minus k squared equals, since positive 20, so positive 4p, then times x minus h. So therefore, in our standard equation, this one is k and this one is h. Then to solve for the vertex, since the vertex, that's h and k. So from the standard equation, so h, since this one is minus 2, so therefore h is positive 2 and k since this one is positive 4 so therefore k is negative 4 
So this is now the vertex of this parabola. Then to solve for P, so to solve for P, since 4P is equal to 20, so we need to equate these two numbers. So 4P equals 20, then divide by 4 to solve for P, so P is equal to 5. So we have now the vertex and the value of P. So we can solve now the focus, the axis of symmetry, and this direct rex. So to solve for focus from vertex, so vertex is 2, negative 4. And P, that's equal to 5. Then to solve for uh, focus, since this parabola opens to the right, so parabola opens to the right, so these are now the formulas for focus and direct rex. So if the parabola opens to the right, so focus and direct rex. And if the parabola opens to the left, then focus and direct rex. So since this parabola opens to the right, so therefore, we're going to use this formula for focus and direct rex. So from the vertex, this one is H, this one is K, and we have P. So to solve now for focus, that's H plus P. So H is 2, then P is 5, then K, that's negative 4. Then simplify, so it's 2 plus 5, that's 7, and negative 4. So this is now the coordinate of the focus. Then for directrix, so since directrix, that's uh, x equals h minus p. So x equals h is 2 minus p, that's 5. So therefore, x is equal to negative 3. So this is now the equation of directrix. And the last one, the axis of symmetry. So for the axis of symmetry, so if we're going to graph this parabola, so we have this, uh, this one is the uh, the y axis, and this one is the x axis, so this one is x, this one is y. So from the vertex, this one is x, this one is y, so we have positive 2, 1, 2, then negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one is the vertex. Then for the focus, so we have 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and negative 4. So this one is the focus. Then for the direct tracks, that's negative 3, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this is now the equation of direct tracks. So since focus always inside the parabola, so therefore the parabola opens to the right. And to solve for this axis of symmetry, so we just need to cut this parabola. And this one is the axis of symmetry. So we have now y equals negative 4. So this one is the axis of symmetry. So this is how to solve this problem.